Okay, we're going to go ahead and start on number 26. Number 26 requires a correction. Um, 4x squared minus 12x minus 40. <clears throat> and that's the one we're using. So change that negative 8 to a 12x, negative 12x. Uh, this one has a little bit of an extra step before doing anything. And in this case, it is uh, pulling out a 4. So between 4 and negative 12 and 40, negative 40 there is a GCF of 4. And if you are still struggling with GCF after all this time, hashtag bless, because I'm done teaching it. So I don't know what else to tell you on this. GCF means I can divide a number out. Uh, so in this case, I've chosen 4. So 4 divided by 4, um, 1x squared. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3x. Negative 40 <clears throat> divided by 4 is negative 10. And so now we can go ahead and factor. And we, of course, do that using our A method. Our A is 1. Our B is negative 3. Our C is, what is it, negative 10. And then our A times C is negative 10. So between the negative 10s and the, let's see, hold on, let me write this prettier. Negative 10 and then AC is negative 10. Yeah, I'm amazed that some of you will watch these videos without actually any noise on. I, you people drive me insane. Like, watch these videos with noise. It makes the most sense. It's a video. Anyways, Gen Z, y'all are killing me. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and figure out what numbers we are. Remember, it has to add to B, to B and it has to multiply to AC. So the numbers we're looking for are 2 and 5. Which one's going to be negative? I believe it's the, that one right there. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to make sure I have my space separated over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave that 4 right there. It kind of You can kind of ignore it until we're done with it. Um, I'm going to have my x squared. I'm dropping that 1. Do we really need to see that 1 right now? I'm dropping that. 3x. Whoops, not 3x. Uh, plus 2x. Plus 2x minus 5x minus 10. Now, for those who still haven't learned factoring as well either, even though this video was 1013, you can go to 1013 2023 on Schoology, clock the date, that's two months ago. Two months ago is where we did this. If you're wondering where this 2x and minus 5 came from, it's right here. Right here is where I got it. Once I found those numbers, I split up my negative 3x into that. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and add my parentheses, and then I can factor out those. So um, ignore the mess. I'm running out of room here. So I'm going to write the 4. Obviously, is its own thing. That's this 4 here. Now, on this first one, the GCF is x. I can pull an x out of this part, and I'm left with x plus 2. And now on this one here, where it's negative 5 and negative 10, when it's a negative in the first one, you automatically have to pull out the negative, and then it's a 5 as well, and I end up with an x plus 2. So these two should match. That means you're doing it right, which they do. So my factored form is 4, and then I have an x plus 2, and then I have an x minus 5. And that's the full answer for that problem. So um, the solutions are when, when it has an x, so 4 does not have an x, when it has an x, you set it equal to 0. So this is, again, this is my factored form. And then if I set x plus 2 equal to 0, I would get x equals negative 2. And then if I set x minus 5 equal to 0, I would get x equals 5. And how do I get that? Because I'm going to have people who are telling me they have no idea how this works. Y'all, if you can't tell, I'm done teaching math for the semester. I'm over it. I am so over it. Um, this is how it works. This is why the signs magically switched. They didn't magically switch. We moved them across the equal signs. So there we go. That's our full answer on this. Uh, I am not going to work 27 for you. You've got to do that yourself. But what I will tell you is that the GCF before you start is 5x, and you got to take that out of that. And at the very end, when you're done, you will have a 5x here. You will have this here, and you will have this here which means you will have three solutions by the time you're done with this one here. So make sure you understand that for 27.